The Department of Health Services reports nearly half of the state's 65 and older population has gotten the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. More than 7% of Wisconsin's total population is now fully vaccinated, nearly 412,000 people. 842,000 people in the state have received at least one dose of their COVID-19 vaccination. And we're learning more about how the vaccine will reach Wisconsin's educators when they become officially eligible for the vaccine on Monday. AJ Bimeport has you covered on the process state health officials will use to vaccinate the next group of people in our state. AJ. And we learned that within this next group, there is a hierarchy starting with teachers and child care workers. After that will come the frontline workers, such as those in food service and transit, then people younger than 65 in group living facilities, including prisoners. The educators group includes child care workers, K through 12 school employees and workers in higher education. Since half of the state's 65 and older population is still waiting for their first dose, DHS asks local health officials and pharmacies to still put those people first. While teachers are eligible starting Monday, DHS is asking Wisconsin's educators for patience. To our teachers and teachers aides and all the staff in our school districts across the state, we're going to get you a vaccine. We cannot get every one of you a vaccine on March 1st, but you are all going to get a vaccine in, um, in the next four to six weeks. DHS Deputy Secretary Julie Willems Van Dyke says the agency is in the process of ranking each of Wisconsin school districts 1 through 425 for whose staff gets vaccinated first. She says those rankings will be determined by the percentage of students on free and reduced lunch and the percentage of students who are of color. It's a way to address the racial disparity we are seeing with regard to who's been vaccinated and also the rural disparity where many kids also need meal assistance.